Good morning, everyone, and happy May the 4th. May the 4th be with you. And with you. So we are starting a little mini Texas road trip today. We're actually headed to ultimately a town called Green, Texas, which just sits right outside of New Braunfels, Texas, um, which is this big German town. Well, not too big, but um, a well-known German town that sits between Austin and San Antonio. It's about an hour away from our house. So that's where we are headed. It's a cute little quaint town. It has a lot of historical buildings that are from the early 1900s. Um, so it's really cool to go out there and, and see the old part of history. But on our way there, we have to drive through New Braunfels and it's known for their water park, which is Schlitterbahn. Unfortunately, it's not open because of what we're dealing with right now. So it's not stimulating the economy like it would normally. Yeah. It normally brings in a, lot a of, massive amount of business. Yes, it does. It's a lot of fun. It, it, if you're ever in Austin or San Antonio area, go check out Schlitterbahn during the summertime. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. We'll go and we'll spend all day. We'll get there right when they open and we'll close the place down. <laughs> We really do. Even some years when we know we're going to have a lot of time, we'll get season passes. Um, but it's actually dubbed as the world's largest water park. So it is it is a massive attraction. And it brings in a lot of money to the economy, not just for Schlitterbaum, but for the entire city of New Braunfels and Green. We even like just getting on the Lazy River and just floating. Mm -hmm. It's so relaxing. And then they have one that has the the waves and that's <laughs> cool as well. And speaking of river, so New Braunfels actually has the Guadalupe River that flows directly through the city. And there is a road called River Road that follows the curves of the entire river all the way through the city. And it's lined with campgrounds and all kinds of water recreation spots. So on our way to Green, we're gonna start at the top of River Road in New Braunfels, follow it all the way down until we make it to Green. So that should make for a gorgeous drive today. So New Braunfels is, it's actually a good spot to go on vacation because you do have Schlitterbahn. There are tons and tons of companies that rent inner tubes and the ice chest like he was saying. There's campgrounds all over the place if you feel like roughing it for a weekend. It is a really cool spot. It's a really cute German town in Texas. And if you like German food, mm -hmm. or there's a lot of beer gardens in New Braunfels. We actually, the end of last year, we were in New Braunfels and they have a huge beer garden that we were at. It was absolutely fantastic. But we're gonna get on the road. Stop number one, any road trip in Texas, Bucky's, gas, food, and snacks. It's the way to go. So we'll see you at Bucky's. Alright guys, so we are standing in front of Schlitterbahn, New Braunfels that we were telling you about. It's sad. <laughs> 
It is. It's sad because there's nobody here and there's not even any water on the slides or in the pool or... Yeah, so I just flew my drone empty. up over the park and like the big wading pools and all of the slides, there's water is just gone. However, the water at this water park is not chlorined water. It's actually water that's drawn in from the Guadalupe River. So it's all fresh water. So for them, it's easy just to kind of drain it out and when they need to, they can pump it back in. Yeah. But it leads us to another question is, are they going to open this summer, seeing that they don't have like chlorine or salt in the water? But because it is fresh water, hopefully, fingers crossed, they're able to open up this year. Yeah. And it's getting really windy, so if the sound is terrible, we apologize. But, uh, yeah, so this is what Shlitterbaum looks like. We'll go ahead and show you the entrance. Everything's all boarded up. There's a water slide right there, no water in it. It's just so quiet and empty. Usually by this time, even though it's not a weekend, there's still employees here getting things ready for the weekend. <sighs> Hopefully this all passes soon because a water park today sounds amazing. The town of Green, Texas was built in 1850, and although today it is a district within the city limits of New Braunfels, Texas, it was listed in the National Register of Historic Places on April 21st, 1975. Much of Green's economy is supported by tourism. The town offers numerous bed and breakfasts, restaurants, antique stores, and general stores for your browsing. Some of the most notable places and sights to see in Green are the Green Water Tower, which stands over the town on a bluff above the Guadalupe River, Green Hall, which was built in 1878 and is one of the oldest dance halls in Texas, and the Gristmill Restaurant. All right, guys, that is gonna end this vlog. Thank you for coming on our little road trip with us. If you're new here, thank you so much for coming by. While you're here, hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and ring the bell to get notifications whenever we post new videos. And if you are not new here and you are already a subscriber, thank you so much for sticking around with us. We really appreciate it. See you later, guys.